So what's the gold standard for design in my book? Well, it's Ebron. This is an amazing town. It's one of those places where you, uh, it meets all the criteria, basically. You want to live there. You laugh at some of the stuff you see. It's absolutely amazing in the detail. I'm going to do some cutaways like this where I'll go into a detail. Here you have uh, Vesuvius Pizza, and then you have Pompeii there in the corner. So, again, a little bit of humor, great design ethic. The thing I want you to look at when we're cruising through is that every single place that she designs has got little teeny details. Lots of flowers, lots of... Uh, things that make it look realistic so this these two bed and breakfast type areas are places I'd like to stay absolutely positively her um, beach area is a little cluttery it's okay I mean but she has a lot of cool condos that uh, sit right along the beach uh, I'll just kind of let things peruse again every place you look has got little flowers little details all kinds of little stuff that happens there that makes it look realistic and livable. As I head up the hill here, I love what she's done here. It just keeps getting taller and taller and taller. Again, giving a real sense of perspective. And then you're in Paris. Then Japan. Or China. Again, as we're flying through, look at the little details. It's not just the ways that she uses the tools that she has. I mean, really kind of painting with pixels in this situation. We're painting with the tool set that we're given, which is all the little items that you can do. Look how much detail is in that little place. It's hilarious. Yeah, Globex is one of my favorite uh, areas she has. It just kind of floats out there. And speaking of floating, there's Jeebus floating out in heaven. If you uh, zoom in on it just right, it looks like he's there forever. So I'm going to go through and do some uh, freeze frames here. That is cool. Again, look at the detail there. She's got searchlights on the Eiffel Tower. I stole parts of this from my own town. I just love the way she layers the water. This is beautiful. Again, a wonderful use of water and items. Her Harry Potter thing is actually very believable. Same thing here. Uh, her camp is, is loaded with trees and fun stuff to do. This thing is so cool. It's, it's the little barbecue set up in the back is what really makes it look real. It's like, yeah, I'd like to stop by there. Same thing with the mansions. This is just kind of weird and cool sitting along her beachfront. Again, you just keep seeing detail upon detail upon detail. This is kind of a throwaway. Uh, she threw a monorail in there just to check the box. She didn't used to have a monorail until I bugged her about not having a monorail. Again, design aesthetics. So here's her uh, homage to the monorail, kind of tucked up in a shopping district here. Kind of reminds me of this monorail that used to run around the store at Macy's during Christmas in Portland. There's not much to it. She just kind of checked the box on this. So I'd have to give her a minor demerit for a pretty lame monorail. But other than that, it makes up for it in spades. You can hear, let it go. I love this farm section. She's got all kinds of stuff going on here. This is fun. Let me jump back over to uh, her Globex area. It, it really does look like an evil empire. Particularly when you scroll down, you see there's a bunch of flames there, kind of keeping you from really meeting or hitting the uh, the headquarters there. Again, back to Harry Potter. This really just doesn't do it justice, but we'll, we'll stop here with Jeebus.